1981. It's the third test match of the series and England are one down against the West Indies. The West Indies have just been bowled out for 265 on the morning of day two of the match. And that means that England have got to go out for an hour or so before lunch and face the music. Well, about to bowl the second over of the England innings is Michael Holding. And just about to receive is Geoffrey Boycott. This is what happened. Holding in, first of all, the ball is pretty quick. Geoffrey manages to get it down, just off his chest, down to second slip. That one is straight through, leaps off a length. Four slips and a wicket keeper. Into the pads, that one. Jeffrey plays that one, but down into the gully region. Still no run. Again, fending it off. And down into the slips. This, I reckon, is the last ball. And it's certainly Jeffrey's last ball. And I have the two old antagonists with me now. Let's start with Michael. Michael, I think you must have made a fortune if you've been given a pound for every time you've been asked to talk about that over. <laughs> yes, I'll be a very rich man. And Jeffrey Boycott certainly made me very famous in that over. Well, that's what you always say, isn't it, Jeffrey? You made Michael a, a, a household name. I did. Until then, they all think you thought he was just good, but I made him great. <laughs> so what, what about that over from your point of view, first of all, Jeffrey? Well, I have various memories. I mean, you don't totally forget it, obviously, but uh, just remembering every incident, every little thing. I think the one thing that sticks in my mind more than anything is when I walk back after getting out, there seemed to be everybody jumping up and down, and this ground looks full. I remember there were people on top of these stands sat. Can you remember that, Michael? And I, fe I felt sure they were going to fall off. I, I mean, it seems silly, but it's funny how you remember certain things more than others. I mean, everybody was just leaping up and down, except uh, uh, the English people in the crowd who were sat spellbound, really. Michael, was it the best over you ever bowled? It's difficult to pick one over in a charge. I've bowled so many overs and gotten so many batsmen out. It's difficult to pick just one over and say it must be the best, but so many people have spoken about that particular over. It must rank very high. And what was your thoughts as you started on the over? I mean, had you decided you were, you were going to give him a working over or what was, what was going on in your mind? Well, what actually happened is that Clive Lloyd came to me before I went out and said, listen, which end do you want? And I said, well, obviously the end that Andy doesn't want because I thought Andy was the man that would get the first choice. And he said, okay, just bowl a few from this end and then follow Andy. So I was well worked up. I only had about four or five holes in which to bowl at. So I just came charging in. I think... The most difficult balls, I mean, obviously, the one that gets you out is the most important. The most difficult balls were the three that were up sort of chest high. Because I wasn't worrying about that stage of getting bowled out. I was thinking that it was bouncier than this pitch, wasn't it? Yeah, Much it was. quicker. It was pretty true, but it was bouncier. And you saw three of the balls were up here. And those are the ones you're struggling to keep down, especially as Michael's, well, a lot quicker than anybody in this match. What about the ball that got you out? Do you remember a lot about it? Yeah, I was thinking that I'll sure, sooner or later I'm going to get one in my throat and glove it to gully or short leg. And I was trying to think of, well, how do I stay and sort of avoid it and let it go past? And I missed it completely. And then second innings, I thought, what the hell with this? I don't like getting bowled out. I mean, I've always said that good players should not get bowled out. So I got in line and sure enough, I got one in my throat, didn't I? And it yeah, lobbed again straight at gully so i was right and wrong and both times i made no i think one. i think we're gonna have to get off the field here jeffrey because oh, although it's very interesting <laughs> time to go because play is about to resume but we will just have a quick final word with michael holding mikey what do you remember of the ball that bowled him well, just as Jeffrey said, the previous delivery bounced very high up in the throat region and he fended it off just in front of Joel. And I thought, well, perhaps this now is the one to be pitched right.